Hey guys, it is Chad here from the Battle Warrior Podcast, and I'm just letting all you listeners know that the Battle Warrior Podcast episodes will be available across all podcast platforms, guys. So sit back, relax, and enjoy this brand new episode today. Hey guys, welcome to Battle Warrior Podcast. This is Chad on one end. We have, a, as what Mike would say, we have Scotty Fichter on the other end, everyone. <laughs> that is what Mike would say. <laughs> <laughs> I just felt like doing the introduction on that one just because it's Sutton, It's Thursday afternoon. We're funny here. So it is. Uh, he's the author of the weekly game plan, guys. The ultimate guide for creating your best year ever. Um, I was going to say the 52-step weekly guide, making you a better life, if I remember right. Yeah, that's, I mean, because it goes week by week for you. So I would say it's, it's the plan is for a whole year, right? To get you every week of the year set, setting a tone for yourself to just see that success. Yeah. And it's a, the, the best thing I was going to say with this one, it's such a quick flowing book. And uh, I had the opportunity to read this about three, four weeks ago, um, down actually in Dallas with when we had a few uh, people. So I read it going down, read it going back up and it, it keeps you intrigued, keeps you hooked. And, uh, the best thing about it is it flows so great. Even uh, airline traffic doesn't really bug you. You're so absorbed in the book here. So it was such a great, great written book. I appreciate that. Thanks. And that was the whole mindset behind it. I wanted to make sure that when you went on the journey with the book, it flowed for you. You know, like even if you if you look, I think it's uh, week seven, you know, that's whenever we talk about the actual rest and reflect part. We wait you know, kind of get you that anticipation of where we're going to go next. What's my next part of my journey? So that was kind of how we wanted to work the book out. So. Um, yeah, the day seven is usually a Sabbath day. And I, I didn't click to that one. It clicked to the other ones where it was like more of the, the Thanksgiving challenge, the next level mindset, um, more in the in-depth where you started talking about you and the coach, um, go and see the coach, seeing the advisors, all those fun little stories right. that are built into the book. Yeah, yeah. So actually most of the stories, even though some of the names have been changed, a lot of them are actually things that I experienced. Even some of the stories where I put like a girl's name in and a girl's perspective of it, it was still something similar to something I probably went through, either high school, college, or some part of a struggle in my journey that I needed to overcome. So that's how we kind of kind of worked that in too, because I didn't want it to be me every time. Because I read all these books about people talking about themselves, and like I struggle talking about myself. I'd rather talk about other people. So that's how I that's how I circumvented that. <laughs> some of us have issues talk about ourselves <laughs> we're not selfish guys it's just how we relay stories but um no 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 like man it, it's an unbelievable book it's a great read for everyone and the, and the thing about it that really catches you is the the story at the beginning where you're talking about it correct me if i'm wrong but you're in a track meet and you drop a baton or whatever it was when you're in a relay meet and i'm yes. like oh, oh we're in a ride here so uh whoever idea it was the the kick off the story with that story was a brilliant idea. Well, when I was at a conference, this was back in uh, 2016 or 17, my wife went to one out in Sacramento and I met a guy there who um, my wife actually met his wife at a previous conference. So I got to meet the husband there and we all went out and we were talking and through the conference, it was like, you got to let go of things from the past. And that story was one of the things from my past that I didn't realize how much it drug me down because sports was my life. Uh, everything I did was, you know, valued off of how well I did in sports. So with that being my last sporting event, it really just stayed there as like that, that dark thing in your mind that kept pulling me back. Like you're going to fail. Again. You're going to fail. again. you're going to let people down. And it was until that point when I actually spoke to this gentleman with my wife at a, at a dinner we went to, it was at that point when I finally released it. And, and that's how long it took me. I mean, that was about 10 years of my life where it was, it wasn't at the forefront, but it was still there in the back. You know, it's that thing that you can't, you, you just pulls you down, you know, you don't know what it is and then you figure it out. It's kind of like a blessing to, to release it. Yeah. And, and mine was a little bit, so like some of you guys, 
start to know, but a lot, a lot of you guys don't know about my tournament fishing history in the back where I was on the road at like 17 years old and, and had it prematurely ripped away from me. So I, I know exactly what you mean when you feel like where you feel like you let it down. Uh, you felt like you let everyone down or even yourself down because all of a sudden it's like the spotlight just goes like you're so used to, and I don't want to say you're used to spotlight. You're just, you're used to riding high, doing great, phenomenal. And just, you're on a roll. And all of a sudden, like the floor is just taken away. That feeling came back to me when you said that I'm like, Oh, the, the stage, the lights, the everything. It just, when you're used to it, you know, you know, the time and the smell and everything of it. Yeah. And it's, it sticks there. And then when you, the worst part about it was it was, a, it was our relay. So I let not just me down, I let the whole team down. And that was the part that really, you know, affected me the most because I'm always about team. I'm always about helping people. And if I feel like I've let you down, that's a big failure for me. So, uh, you know, to, to fight through that, overcome it and to grow from it is, is the biggest thing. And the, and the biggest thing now, now, now the team turned into what, 265 people that we're all t- tied together with. So even though it's not personally your guys team in a race, we're in a larger, bigger, way better team that is changing the world pretty much. Right. Love it. Love it. And that's what I said. Like whenever we're with that group, I, it's like an accountability group for me too. It makes me think, it makes me want to continue to do better because I don't want to let people down. You know, so it's a great thing. And then even when you have a family too, I got a wife and kids. So I'm always looking at them. Every time I see them, I'm like, okay, gotta keep pushing, gotta keep pushing. Yeah. And when it and I, I'm gonna ask you when you graduate high school, because I think you're a few years difference from me. I was 2004, So I was 03, 2003. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, we're getting near, I wasn't say almost 20 years out, even I don't want to say that far out, but it's, it's starting to climb up that way. We're getting in the late teens of that. So, um, <clears throat> tell everyone we're going to keep the short here guys, but tell everyone where we can, uh, have all the listeners go find your book and enjoy this number one bestseller you have going right now. Yeah. So you can check out what we've got going on on Facebook. We have a group called no slack, just hustle which is the mindset we are really branding around right now. You know, it's not just something that we say, it's a lifestyle, right? No slack, just suffer. So when you do something, you're going all out. And that's, uh, that's actually one of the, that's a hashtag in the book, every single chapter. So it hits you every single time. I want you to think of that every single time you read it. And uh, so with that group, we're building a community to really help you, to motivate you, to help you with your game plans. And then, Within that, you know, we're gonna we're gonna grow that as well. But um, you can find the book on Kindle, and we have a link tree on, on my personal Facebook page, which is Scott Victor F I C H T R. You'll see a link tree link, and then that'll take you to our book because that's the easiest way to get there, I think. Or you can just look up the weekly game plan on Kindle. <laughs> awesome, man. Like I said, usually I want to chit chat for a while, but my voice is limited this week because I got under the weather here prior to recording here, so. Thank you very much, man. We're going to keep it short and sweet. And uh, I will look forward to many more calls with you in the future. I appreciate you get that voice back. All right. Thank you, man. All right. See you.